this actually this new news item kind of made me mad, uh, and I don't like talking about news items making me mad on the show. I only like to talk about the ones that make that kind of make fun of themselves. Uh, the New York film, a New York film critic, uh, David Denby, sees superhero epics as Christopher Nolan's Batman trilogy and Marvel's Avengers as signs of a bleak future for Hollywood cinema. In an interview with the Rap for his new book, "Do the Movies Have a Future?" Denby, who likes Nolan's Memento, by the way, if you haven't seen Memento, you should really watch it, uh, said that the Dark Knight trilogy. Uh, here's what he had to say about that. I can't tell if he's against terrorism or is a terrorist. I felt terrorized myself. The plot didn't make sense in the time or space that he, that wasn't sequential. Acts didn't have consequences. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what comment he's making in Inception. So it seems like he's mainly uh, about his own work. I'm not sure uh, they're creating an adult audience for Batman and the Avengers parts 7, 8, 9, or 10. After five sequels, I'm not sure whether any, will there be any interest in seeing a man and woman talking at a table, which would be more excited kind of drama. But if you have to cultivate a taste for the kind of that kind of complexity. He also added, uh, the big studios have broken their unspoken, unwritten contact with America to offer some versions of the country's soul. Instead, there is more fantasy and more and more pixelized fighting in dead air or dig dead air of digital space. Uh, even if you don't read the reviews, you still might be familiar with Denby's name from the very public 2011 flap over breaking a review embargo of the Girl of the Dragon Tattoo. Uh, although it wasn't a negative review, but still. Uh, embargo, by the way, for those of you who don't know embargo, what embargo means. It is essentially, uh, review obviously reviewers, people, reviewers, uh, get to see uh, uh, trailers early, or tra movies early. And they and the embargo uh, pretty much says that you can't give a review, you can't release a review to the public before that date. And he kind of broke it. He kind of broke it. He kind of was like, "Well, I'll just do it anyway." So he broke the embargo. He got, it was a lot of big fuss about it, but it wasn't a negative review, and you know he was looked down upon. But whatever. What 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 what, what questioned me the most about what he was saying is that the thing about the whole Dark Knight. Thing about it being like him being a terrorist or him being terrorized, it was, it was stupid. I think people, and especially now, I, 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 I've seen it more since the modern day comic book movies have come out, like Iron Man, Batman Begins, where people are just finding like the littlest thing to make fun of a movie or to say something about a movie that's just stupid or it's just wrong or whatever. Um, and that it it, it started it started with that, and it was also it started with that, and people have just been like they don't enjoy movies anymore. Like the whole point of watching a movie is to enjoy yourself. Don't take it too seriously, unless it has to be taken seriously. Uh, if you're watching a comedy, you're not gonna take a, a serious you're not gonna take a comedy seriously. You're you're gonna go in there and you're gonna and you're gonna laugh. Um, now this, you know Christopher Nolan's comic book movie, you know Batman movies weren't necessarily real comic book movies. They were good movies nonetheless. Um, they're great movies nonetheless. Um, but what he's saying about these movies, is, it's just, it's just so stupid. Why, why just enjoy the movie They're there just because you go watch a movie and it has some subtle, you know, undertone about, you know, religion or, or, you know, sexuality or, you know, society today. It doesn't necessarily mean the filmmaker was trying to make a point of that. It just means that he wanted to throw it in there to see if anybody would catch it. And that's it. That's pretty much what, what, what it was. And, I don't know. It just it troubles me that we can't that we as a society or we as you know and review and reviewers get crap all the time. All right, let me. I have a dozen thoughts going in my mind right now. It troubles me that we as a society of filmmakers cannot go or not filmmakers but moviegoers cannot go and watch a movie without being oh you know he was trying to say this about the movie. No, he wasn't trying to say that about a movie. He was trying to make you sit down and enjoy a movie and, and have fun with it. He wasn't trying to say oh you should only buy this brand of toilet paper. No, it's not what he's saying. It, just, ah, it makes me mad. Um, and review. Okay, I was going to say about something about reviewers. Reviewers get a lot of crap because obviously, you know, people are really excited for a movie and then, you know, reviewer will go and, you know, obviously reviewers are paid to say what they think about the movie and give us their information about what they saw. Now, I don't pay attention to reviewers. You guys know that. I've said that multiple times here in the show. I do not care what reviewers think. I only trust certain reviewers because they have been right most of the time. What I do is I go watch a movie because I want to go watch it. Uh, not because the reviewer says it's good or not. 
Uh, I go watch a movie because I think it looks interesting, because it has good, it has good actors, it's got a great director, it's got great screenwriters, it looks great. That's the only time I'll go watch a movie. That's the only way I'll go watch a movie. I don't follow reviewers. I know people that just go to the movies because what a reviewer says. And I don't think, I don't, I don't think people should do that. I really don't. I think people should go watch a movie. If they really want to go watch it, go make the judgment yourself. Go, go watch the movie yourself. Reviewers get a lot of crap because obviously they'll, you know, again, you know, they'll review a movie that people have really been looking forward to and they say it sucked. And then that person will be, oh, well, I don't go, I don't, I'm not going to go watch anymore. And then when they do go watch it, they get mad because the reviewer was wrong. Everything, they think the complete opposite of the reviewer. And that's a good thing. People should have their own opinions. They should not follow anybody else's opinions. Um, and I'm not trying to make some, and people are out there like, oh, you're trying to say this thing about religion. No, I'm not. That's not what I'm saying. I'm talking about movies. This is a movie show. That's we're contained in the little bubble that is movies. Um, when, you know, and, and um, I totally lost my train of thought now. Uh, when reviewers, you know, again, going back to reviewers, they get a lot of crap because obviously, I think it's hard for us to understand that reviewers pretty much see the same thing every year because it's exactly what it is. They see movies year round and they get paid to review it. I, I'm not going to lie. I mean, I'll probably get a little tired when, you know, when I go down, I'll be like, no, I've seen this, I've seen this before. Like 10, 10, 20 years from now, I'm going to be sitting in the movie theater and be like, I saw that 10, I saw that in, you know, 2012. Uh, same thing, man. What the hell? What the hell? That's, that's going to be me. I'm just going to be me. Maybe that would be me. I don't know. Hopefully not. Cause I like to keep an open mind. Um, so I, I don't know. It's, 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 it's difficult to review a movie and to like a movie now because people will, will find something. People, people love to find little things. Um, the Avengers, it, uh, the Avengers had some things going on with it. it, it like, um, the adopted brother line, like he's adopted. People were outraged when that, when the movie came out because they're like, Oh, it's offensive to people that are adopted. No, I mean, maybe if that person's very sensitive, but I, I didn't find it offensive. And I knew, I know he wasn't trying to make it offensive. Um, there was this thing about Selena Kyle in the dark Knight rises where supposedly she was a lesbian because she had a roommate that was a woman and she's never with a guy. What? That's like that, that actually like the tipping point of this, uh, of, of what was going on. Uh, again, with the Dark Knight Rises, uh, that whole stupid thing about Rush Limbaugh saying that Bain Capital was the same was, um, you know, the whole, if you're in politics, politics, you know what Bain, uh, Bain Capital is. It's the whole Mitt Romney thing, and uh, he was with the company, whatever. I'm not gonna get into it. Um, but it was that, and then people, and then oh, it, it you know, Christopher Nolan, Warner Bros. are trying to make a statement because they have the main character named Bain that was made as a comic book character. Like a couple of years before Bane Capital even existed, um, uh, Brave, which is the the movie with the the animated movie with the, for Pixar with the the girl with the big red hair. If you don't know the name of it, they said she was uh, she 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 was uh, she was a lesbian too because she she didn't want to she didn't want a man. These stupid arguments that it's just I mean unless unless a director and the, and the screenwriter and the company says yes, we meant Selena Kyle to be a lesbian or we meant. Uh, you know, we meant to make the adopted, the, he's adopted line from the Avengers offensive. Unless they come out and say that it's offensive, then I will say, okay, yes, that is offensive. Other than that, I don't see why we can't enjoy movies anymore. I mean, I go to the movies to go watch a movie and to enjoy myself. That, that is what, not too much, not in that way though, but I go to, I go to the movies to enjoy myself and watch a movie. I don't go in there with like, Oh, I'm, I'm going to wait and see what, uh, this person has to say about politics and see how he, how the undertone of, uh, this movie is. Cause, uh, you know, he's, he's a Republican. I don't do that. I don't care. I don't, I can care less of a filmmaker's Republican or not. I can care less of a, of a filmmaker's trying to say something. I, I mean, unless he is trying to say something and I catch it right away. Uh, and sometimes yes, movies do have that, that thing, that, that, that core about, uh, they're trying to send a message and sometimes movies do have meanings and yes, um, and sometimes people take it way too seriously. Uh, but I mean, just enjoy the movie, go to the movies and enjoy yourself. Come on. 